Somebody put all these designs on their Instagram story. Who want to get matching tattoos like this? You pay for mine too. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, let's go get tattoos and you get the same tattoo as me. But not just that, you pay for mine as well. I've got a question for you, buddy. <laughs> Where do you get off? Also, I can't believe we're starting the video with me saying tattoo a hundred times. I get so many comments from you guys being like, I love how Vince doesn't say tattoo. I'm sorry, I'm Australian. I don't know how to talk. But yeah, buddy, you can pay for your own damn tattoo. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're doing amazing. And welcome to some more super frustrating, super annoying choosing beggars. It's a lovely Saturday morning today, and this is exactly what I want to be doing on my Saturday morning. And I'm not even joking. I love this subreddit so much, and I'm excited to get frustrated. I'm doing two videos today, so I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys are too. I'm going to really aim to try and do two videos a day as much as I can. But two videos a day is just way harder than one video a day. So I'm going to try my best to do it as much as I can. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind seeing me twice a day. All right, I'm already talking way too much. So let's get into the video. Enjoy some choosing beggars, the client's expectations and their budget. Yeah, why are choosing beggars so entitled? Yeah, you should do a masterpiece for me, but like, I don't want to pay for it. I want you to lose all your money. So yeah, if you wouldn't mind taking all your time and all your effort and all your money <laughs> and doing something for me for free, I'd really appreciate it. We're back on Facebook Marketplace for an Oster Blender. Hello, is this still a hello available? <laughs> a hello available. Hello, is this still available? Five? Uh, no. Seven cash? It's not available. Eight? Twelve. It's already been sold. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Like, that's way more funny than it is annoying. Hey, will you take seven dollars? Nah, it's not available, sorry. How about eight? <laughs> you raising the price doesn't mean that I still have the item. It's worth a shot, I guess, but it's already sold, dude. Here we have some free pallets. Is this still available? Yeah. I was wondering if you could help me. I've tried to get some wood to make a gate, but I've not had any luck, so I was wondering if you can help me. And I was wondering if you could because I don't drive. Thank you. Sorry, someone has said that they'll come pick it up tomorrow now. Oh, thanks for nothing. <laughs> Dude, you can't do that. They get upset as soon as somebody comes and gets it that isn't them. Like, oh, wait a second. Why wouldn't you deliver me your free item that I'm not even going to go pick up? And then to get annoyed when somebody else goes and picks it up. No, 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 no. If you were giving something away for free, you would do the exact same thing. It's for video advertising for Facebook ads. I'm a professional editor on Final Cut Pro and now need help with the workload. We're growing our business and that's why I'm contacting you. It's not a one-time job, but it's a job for the long term. I offer $7 an hour and it's for a minimum of 70 hours a month. You must be able to work 70 hours per month for our company. We would start with 70 hours at the beginning and if you're good, it could go up to 120 hours. You would be managing a small team and your salary would grow too. We need to do an interview. $7 an hour and 70 hours per month. What's that like 490 or something dollars a month? <laughs> what? So what? It's just like a part-time job is it? But 70 hours a week 70 divided by 4 is like 7, 18 or something? So you're basically working like 2 full days a week for below minimum wage. Yeah, no thanks buddy. If I'm gonna have to manage a small team and this is meant to be a long term job, we're gonna need more than $7 an hour if you have the skills to do this, you could make way more money with someone else. So why would somebody do this? I don't know. Dear Jeremy Clarkson, how do I access your farm show without giving Amazon lots of money? Is it not a general mainstream education proposition? Then he responds, here's how the world works. Someone spends money making something and then gives it away for nothing. No way, 
wait, hang on. Yeah, but with this one, I think they're saying they don't want to give Amazon money. So I don't think they're actually saying that they're not going to pay for it. I think what they're saying is they'd rather buy it from somebody that isn't Amazon. Is that right? I think that's what's going on here. I don't think it's actually a choosing beggar. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It seems like that's what's going on. I'm looking for free firewood. Please read before responding. No pine. I need it to be cut into logs already. Accessible. And nothing that's been laying around for months and has overgrown weeds and poison ivy wrapped around it. Thank you in advance. Why is this funny? Lots of people have down trees that they want to get rid of. Excuse me for not having the capability of using a chainsaw, but I can come and get it off your property. This is how I heated my house all last winter. Like, yeah, okay, dude, but you need to be a little bit more grateful <laughs> and a little bit less entitled. I don't want any pine. It needs to be cut into logs already and it needs to be accessible. If somebody had good wood that they already went to the effort of cutting up, why wouldn't they just sell it? Why do they think that they deserve better treatment than everybody else? Bro, come on. Imagine if you were giving away free wood and somebody came over and they're like, oh no, this is not up to my standard. Just take it, dude. It's free. This one's like a storage bookshelf type thing. I need recommendations on a construction company, not just some tradie to cut this down because it won't fit my storage space. See picture. My budget is around $15. You've lost your mind. <laughs> no way. I will also sell it if anyone is interested in a bargain. I paid $160 for it. It's a rare color and my labor to assemble adds value. So $300. You pick up and haul or I need a real carpenter or construction crew to cut it down. First of all, what the hell do you mean cut it down? That's obviously something that you can just disassemble yourself. Second of all, your budget for somebody to do that, which they don't even need to do by the way, is $15. And the last and funniest thing, you paid $160 for it, but because you assembled it and it's a rare color, you think it's worth $300 now? <laughs> and also they said, and my labor to assemble. So they obviously assembled it. So why can't you just disassemble it? <laughs> Surely they're joking. That's just too ridiculous. No way. <laughs> That's the best choosing beggars post I've ever read. Let's do one more, guys. Baby shower rules. So my baby shower is in two days and apparently people don't know that they aren't supposed to show up to a baby shower empty-handed. The purpose of a baby shower is to shower the baby with a gift. I made a rule stating if you come empty-handed, you're not allowed to eat or have alcoholic drinks. Those who brought a gift will get a wristband at the door and they're welcome to eat and drink as they please. It seems as though people aren't too fond of this rule, but to be honest, I don't care because the time and money it took to prepare this baby shower was very hectic to just allow people to eat and drink for free without getting my baby anything. For all that, I'd rather they not show up. Am I being dramatic with this whole gift situation? Yes. <laughs> 100%. Like, they're just taking the fun out of it. Is it even about the baby at this point? Like, oh, icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. And they get wristbands. <laughs> Oh no, it's wholesome memes time. Whoa! What is your wish, mortal? Well, I wish I would stop second guessing myself. Really? You're gonna wish for that? Hey, it's my wish, so I get to be the... Hey! <laughs> Do you get it, buddy? You didn't second guess yourself. Thank you so much, Magic Genie. Nathan W. Pyle made that. I love that so much. That's so funny. And it's really adorable. The writing is so cute. I love wholesome memes. Harry rated it five stars. Giving my own book five stars because if I don't believe in me, who will? Hell yeah, Kerry. That's absolutely right. I believe in you 100%. You're your own number one fan and that is so awesome. 20 year old me failing college. I'm not as strong as you. 13 year old me being top student in middle school. No, you're stronger. Yeah, because college is way harder than middle school. And also your grades at school don't determine 
determine how successful you're going to be. A lot of teachers make it out like if you get bad grades, you're going to be a loser. But it's so not true. Your intelligence is way more complicated than doing a few tests at school. People are smart in different ways. People after seeing me for the third time in a day. Hey dude, it's you again. My dog meeting me for the millionth time that day. Hey there, good boy. Oh, master, I missed you. <laughs> yeah, I really love Chico, but that's something that he doesn't do. He doesn't care if I'm there at all. I know I say it all the time, but I'm gonna need to get a dog. Looking at your bed when it's a rainy night and you don't have to work in the morning. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna sleep so well in you tonight. You beautiful thing, I'll see you soon. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a wonderful time and I hope you did too. And today's comment of the day goes to IBC Heal. Interesting fact for everybody. Icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck has become a daily part of my vocabulary. Sometimes hourly. Thanks, Vince. Oh, and there's a young cat who now shares your name. Really? Like Vince or Vincey? That is so beautiful. I'm so honored. Thank you so much. You've named a cat after me? <laughs> no way. Oh, that made my entire week. Thank you so much. If you ever want to tweet me photos of it, feel free. Oh, that's like the most wholesome way I could possibly end a video. Thank you guys so much. I'm so lucky to have such an awesome community. And yeah, have a beautiful rest of your day, guys. Have a wonderful night. Look after yourself. Watch some Simpsons. Cook yourself something nice. And guess what? I'll see you tomorrow.